Okay. Everybody's ready to go outside. I just have to unlock the gate. You're all ready. Okay, I just have to go around the corner and open the little gate. Java doing his job. This is all my farm mess. Spare fencing, feed troughs, drinking troughs, recycled bathtubs and old water tanks. See, there's the old bathtub. I'll turn that into a water collector or something at some stage. Anyway, come on. How are you guys? Yeah. You gotta get out of the way. Look, she's being pecked at by birds. They're taking her wool. And what the birds are doing when they are pulling at the sheep's wool this time of year, it's to get the lanolin. Hey, hey, easy, easy does it, girl. To get the lanolin to grease their wings, or feathers rather. Can you, look, I can't undo the gate unless you let me there. Okay. And they're off. But the alpaca. Come on, Java! 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 Come on, pup! Let's go get the uh, alpaca. Let's go out in the morning. Beautiful sunny morning. Come on, you guys. Very frosty. The soil is completely hard. Brindle, leave it. Maya, leave it. Good dogs. There we go. Okay, all down the gate, or through the gate, down the hill. And the sun is shining. And today, I'm gonna go and get some trees that I'm gonna plant this winter some oak trees and some maple trees and there might be one or two crab apple trees so I'm gonna go and get those today it's trees I've been longing to get and finally found somewhere that has them the ones that I want that is there we go and look at the crow sitting on the fence post right there there, waiting for the sheep to finish. So it can go peck around the leftover bits of rolled barley, etc. And then they pluck at the sheep to get the lanolin. Oh, I've already said that, to grease their um, feathers, oil their feathers. Oh, look, this is stuck. There we go. It's frozen into the soil. There we go. Oh, and this one is as well. Here we go. I've already taken a hammer and been smashing water tanks uh, because they're covered in ice. Oh, you're having a lovely time. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You make all kinds of noises, don't you? Okay. Frosty, frozen, beautiful sunny day. I love winter days like this. Kestrel, you're very eager to come in. Look at them all. They're like chocolates with frosting on them. The fleeces. So pretty. Oops, come on, Ben. There we go.
Look at that beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Somebody's chopping wood over there. It is a day for a fire. Only days away from bringing these girls in to take their boyfriend away. Just making sure some of the early coverings are holding. So far they are. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Java? Yeah. Beautiful sunny day to go and buy trees. Yay! When it's this frosty and frozen. Look, all these seed heads. So beautiful with their bit of frosting on top. I want to check that the, uh, look, see this water tank is frozen. That's, it's a thin layer, but that's ice nonetheless. Ah, thicker than I thought. <laughs> look at that. That is definitely thicker than I thought. Okay. Well, I want to see how well my heater kept this warm overnight because I think it went well below. Oh, it's still warm. Let's see. Oh, it went down to one. Wow, very close to being frozen in here. Not good. Okay, because if we have another day of it, this is still putting off heat. It's still, I haven't turned it off yet. Oh, it's turned itself off. Maybe I've run out of fuel. Yeah, fuel's run out, but that's just in time. So I've got to still have a few tomatoes. So I should harvest. And then I should move all these plants more over in that corner because then they have the heat, uh, ambient heat of the two walls. So, and my beautiful ferns. Those plants there, those have to go in the house. I have to move them into the house today because they don't like being chilly and they're looking a little off color. So hopefully I haven't killed them out here, not bringing them in soon enough. But the ferns are doing well. They can stand cold weather as long as they're not soaked. And then my salvias are still blooming and tomatoes are still ripening. So, but uh, I'm going to have to uh, refill this baby and relight it tonight. And uh, yeah, okay, I might be going and buying trees. But this afternoon, I'm going to have to move everything over there. Okay, busy day ahead. These geraniums are still doing okay. They're not blooming, but I wouldn't expect them to be blooming. This one is blooming, but it's closer to the light. So you can see I've used um, bubble wrap as insulation where the worst drafts are. So yeah, there's going to be some work done in here today, later today. So the hedges are left, so he's doing the sides, but he's done the sides along our border as well. So you can see the shattered bits of shrub hawthorn, scrub plum, etc. All in this laneway. Because he's gone, uh, the contractor went along the line there. Look at that, shattered. This is just, this is not good for nature. The wall is full of shattered shards taking, trying to go too high. It's unnecessary. If they're only doing it to keep the fence secure for electric fencing, they don't need to go so high up. 
and they were going, look, the electric fence is right there. And they went all the way up there, completely unnecessary. Boys with mechanical toys. Honestly, the world is full of these boys with mechanical toys and the height of destruction. You can see along that fence line, the electric fence, you see the gap right there? The electric flat fence is below that gap, yet they went six feet above it, butchering the trees. Boys and their fecking toys, excuse my language. I'm going up to feed the rams. Up the lane, which is littered in shards of trees and shrubs. It's just sickening. And a lot of them were filled with food. Okay, these are scrub plums all along here. Well, there's a hawthorn down below uh, further along, but these are all scrub plums. Somebody said, oh, well, there, there's no food left in the trees. So that's why they're cutting it back for the spring. Let me just show you this hawthorn right here. Hey! Easy. Okay, he's cross. Okay, leave it. Leave it. Java! Good boy. Leave it. Ah, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Java! Everybody else is leaving it except Java. Okay, there you go. They'll be happy eating that. Java, leave it. Come on. Here, I was gonna bring you over to show you this hawthorn. This hawthorn still has lots of food on them. And you know what? I'm gonna walk you up on my side of that hedge and I'll show you it has loads of food on it as well. I'm gonna go there now. Okay, now that hedgerow there is where I was standing a few moments ago. The orchard is where those tall trees are. The tree, apple trees are beyond. So I was there pointing at this hedgerow. Yeah, the elder is done. That's an elder. But if you look over here, that's elder. This is blackberry. There's a few kind of berry bits that are still edible, but there are rose hips, one or two there. Okay, only very few. But let me come up to where the hawthorn is. The hawthorn, okay, the beech nuts are all down on the ground at the moment. But over here, so somebody was saying there's no, all the berries are gone. If all the berries are gone, that means the birds are gonna starve. So there's hawthorn berries here. There's more right there. There's more right here. You see, that's hawthorn berry. Look, this is our fence line. Look at this tree. And birds are fluttering away from it as I approach. This tree is full. Look at that, red, full of hawthorn. Now, if that's cut down, it's gonna be on the ground. The birds don't get it. That's a very, very richly covered hawthorn tree all the way up there. And there's more. If I stand out from here, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's some right there. There's another very red buried bush there and all the way along. Then we have the crab apple trees. One, two, three, four crab apple trees. They have food as well. So, and then we have the ivy, which has the berries. So it's all there. It's just this, this propensity to think neat means that you're a good farmer is completely untrue. So for that person, I can't remember if they were on YouTube or Twitter or Facebook, 
who commented or on Instagram who said, well, all the hedgerows, there's no berries left. That's because there's not enough trees to produce the berries to feed the bird population. So they strip them bare early and then there's no bird food. That is, today is the first day of December. It's really, really frosty. The sun is shining and we have lots of hawthorn berries. So cutting the hedges, yeah, my fence line's down here. They don't have to cut them so high. Leave the food for the wildlife. Jesus, we're really fucking it up, you know? Really fucking it up. I guess we don't, as a species, are looking to extinct ourselves. I don't know, I'm just really pissed off with too much hedge cutting and neatness and tidiness and... Crikey. The horse is down on. You've got a big hay, bale of hay, but you're just coming up here anyway to eat the frozen grass. Isn't that right? You beautiful grasshopper. You beautiful girl. Yes. Oh, Brindle, stop it. Java, no. Hey, beautiful. You're eating bits of frozen grass, huh? Yeah. Yes. You're so good. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at that, long shadows. Hello, everybody.